Hello, so for our final example model in lecture 3, um, we can, well, of NX motion, we can uh, now start um, making certain links follow certain paths. So if you look at this model, it's already set up and solved. Um, I'm just going to show you a different way of doing it. Uh, we can play and we can see that the link, the middle of that uh, sphere, follows this this path as indicated here. So we can just see that again and we can see how the that motion occurs. So what is important to notice is that the motion is driven by that section up top there. So if we look at our constraints, our constraints constrains a point onto a curve which happens right there and we can see that if we look at our joints there's a couple of joints here but the most important one to look at is the fact that there's this driving joint here at the top okay so we're not going to use we're not going to drive that joint I'm just going to leave it um, I'm just quickly going to edit it and make sure that it does not drive this model so I'm going to say okay to that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a driver of this constraint okay so one of the methods that we can take just to see how far it should travel is I can just measure this the length of this curve and we can see that it's in this case 14 inches uh, yes so we've got 14 inches right or 14 and a bit inches I'm just going to move it 14 inches along that curve so if we go to the home tab we can go to our driver container and now it's going to be, give us again the option for joint driver this is indeed a joint driver and I can select this constraint so we can say uh, how far it should move again I'm going to go for a function a step function and we're going to displace it it well, was a display uh, displacement step function create a new function go down to motion functions at the bottom of motion functions we've got step I'm just quickly going to insert these values so we're going from zero time uh, zero displacement to 5 seconds 14 inches displacement as you can see here I'm seeing 14 inches because the, because the unit is 14 inches I can change that to different values it's just in this case I've got the reference of 14 and a bit inches so I can say OK I can say OK again and I can close the driver so now you can see that there's a driver in this case what's important to notice is the direction of the arrow so we can just change that quickly by going into the driver option we can see that this thing is going different direction and we can just edit this function and I can literally just add a negative value in front of that I can say OK I can say OK so if I solve this solution now we can see that we follow that curve in that amount of time okay so what what you should just see is that this might still indicate that the arrow is that way but we're going in ne negative that direction it's just the way that the joints were set up okay and this concludes this example in lecture 3 of the NX motion